Hi everyone, welcome to Applied Stem Cell webinar. This webinar is on iPSL genome editing, particularly on rapid automated cell line gene editing or RACE. As you know, iPSL has a great potential for both research and therapeutic applications. So basically, iPSLs can be isolated from any adult somatic cells, for example, a patient or healthy donor. It can be fibroblast or cold blood or PBMC donor cells, and these cells can be reprogrammed to make into induced pluripotent stem cells or iPS cells. And iPS cells can then be either genetically modified to make mutations or correct the mutations, or it can be differentiated into any cell types in a human body, such as neurons, blood cells, hepatocytes, epithelial cells, muscle cells, and cardiomyocytes. And on the other hand, after gene editing, these cells can also be differentiated into all three germ layer cells. And these cells can then be used for many different applications, including tissue engineering, disease modeling, and more specifically for regenerative medicine uh, for cell-based gene therapy. So, um, let's just give you an example how we use iPS cells to model disease. Uh, on the left panel is where we start with a healthy iPS cell line. So basically, the donor is a healthy uh, individual, and we can derive iPS cells from this healthy individual. And then through gene editing, we can introduce mutations. To in, so that we can generate a disease state iPS cells. And these cells can be differentiated into specific cell types that is relevant to the disease state. And then we can compare the isogenic cell line, basically a healthy cell line versus a disease state cell line. And then we can start the mechanism of the disease state cell line as well as use these cells for potential um, therapeutic application. And on the right side, uh, this goes the other op, uh, op direction, which is we start with a disease um, state iPS cells. So these cells are derived from patients with um, no mutations, for example. And these cells can be um, then genet genetically engineered to correct the disease mutation back to wild type uh, gene. And then these two different cell lines, the disease iPS cells and the corrected uh, wild type cell lines can be differentiated uh, into uh, specific cell types. And again, um, we can compare different um, profiles so one thing I want to talk about in this webinar is our high throughput genome editing automated system. So this is a system that is a proprietary technology platform established at Applied Stem Cell. So we are only not uh, we are not only able to manipulate iPS cells and make mutations, but also we can actually manipulate multiple cell lines and hundreds of cell lines at the same time using high throughput um, equipment and processes. So for example, we use uh, fax sorting to sort transfected cells and then we use uh, clone imaging to spot um, the positive cells or transfected cells and then we use automated clone picker to pick uh, positive clones and then after clone expansion, we do um, next-gen sequencing to genotype uh, the positive clones. So this automated uh, process workflow uh, not only increase the uh, productivity and the scale of our, our uh, gene editing process, and we also have achieved very high success rate, uh, which is up to 98%. And this also avoids um, per 
uh, human errors if they were done by manual uh, uh, method. So uh, here are several advantages of our high throughput automated system uh, compared to uh, conventional manual method. So the most um, advanced um, characteristic is fast turnaround time. So we are able to cut the turnaround time by more than half. So we were able to achieve up to 60% faster turnaround time. And as I mentioned already, we have a high success rate over 98%. And we do it in 96 world plate format for high throughput editing. So we can manipulate many cell lines simultaneously in parallel. And then we also have our control mast IPS cell line that use, we can use as a control line to make sure our systems are, are working in optimal condition. And we have SOP uh, for this automated high throughput process. So for example, here we have three different types of uh, mutation, knockout, point mutation, and knock-in. And we are able to save um, basically 60% time uh, for knockout and point mutation and 20 to 30% time for making knock-in uh, uh, mutation. So this just summarizes again. Um, the advantage of using uh, uh, applied stem cells technology and applied stem cells pro potent stem cell um, lines. So first of all, we have developed uh, several pro -pot uh, potent proprietary IPS cell lines that are currently used by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST. Uh, it's a genome editing consortium. So it's a reference uh, iPS cell line. So this uh, cell line is very well characterized uh, and currently used as iPS cell standard. So we provide this particular cell line, our master cell line, for customer uh, to use uh, as uh, either as a control or as a starting material for making uh, uh, mutations or other uh, manipulation uh, to the cell line. And uh, we also provide um, isogenic clones once we do gene editing. Uh, we don't do just uh, pools. Uh, many uh, other providers, uh, they provide um, pool cells after transfection, but we provide isogenic clones so that those are stable clones for you to further to do your studies. And um, again, our time timeline for project is about two to three months compared to other manual method, which takes about five to six months. And I, our high throughput uh, modification technology allow us to do um, in a 96 well plate format. So basically hundreds of uh, lines or modifications uh, in parallel. Uh, this is um, really uh, make the process much faster and high throughput compared to the current uh, manual method, which is single modification of time. So I'm gonna give you a few examples uh, in terms of uh, the types of modifications we have made uh, successfully. So case one is a part two um, knockout allele. So we're able to make uh, a bioallelic uh, modification on both uh, chromosomes, both alleles. So one is deletion of 10 base pair, and the second uh, is a four base pair um, uh, insertion. And then um, the characterization indicates that this particular gene, when it not, it's knocked out, affects uh, the uh, dopaminergic neuron. Uh, and we can see that the expression of some of the markers in DA neurons have uh, being dramatically decreased or disappeared. And case two is a, a reporter line that we made. Uh, we used a astrocyte specific motor to drive a uh, um, reporter gene expression. And we were able to see that uh, not only by genotyping that the reporter gene is inserted in the right place on the chromosome, but also expressed um, 
the reportage uh, in a, a, a timely fashion. And this is an example of uh, 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 mutation variants in a um, uh, familiar protein uh, uh, variant example. So, so basically, um, uh, this family uh, contains a mutation in um, a particular gene, and we're able to create these uh, mutation variants uh, using gene editing. So we start from a wild type. Uh, cell line, and then made point mutation uh, to uh, uh, specific uh, mutation state that corresponds to what, what happened in the uh, uh, patients. And then when uh, we did an enzymatic activity assay, we see the difference in enzyme activity compared to the wild type uh, iPS cell line. And this is um, our actual proprietary technology uh, um, that is to make not just only small mutations, but also we can do uh, chromosome translocation. So this is a very complex modification. Uh, so basically one um, piece of the chrom uh, one piece of DNA fragment on chromosome um, X uh, transferred to another chromosome. Um, and um, so this, uh, we have a patent uh, technology and that allow us to do these big uh, complex uh, modification, including a gene fusion application and chromosome translocation. And um, so we also have established uh, SOPs and products for differentiating iPS cells to many different lineage cells. So here are just some examples. Um, we are able to uh, differentiate iPS cells to uh, neuronal lineage cells, including neural stem cells, cortical neurons, dopaminergic neurons, motor neurons, and astrocytes, microglia, and RPE, skeletal muscle cells, cardiomyocytes. And we also uh, have um, products that are differentiated to hepatocytes from iPS cells. And we've also done uh, differentiation of iPS cells to uh, more of the blood uh, lineage cells, including hematopoietic uh, progenitor cells, T cells, and K cells, and epithelial uh, cells such as lung cells and parasites, and uh, the blood brain barrier uh, modeling uh, cell types. And so, with uh, the combination of gene editing and iPS cell differentiation, we are equipped with a full set of genetic tools and differentiation tools to make um, many disease models. So this is um, the webinar focusing on iPS cell, uh, particularly on high throughput gene editing and uh, iPS cell differentiation. If you have any questions, please contact us. Uh, the phone number and email are listed on this particular si uh, slide. But in short, so contact us at info at Thank you very much for your attention.